Welcome back to another Let These Two broadcast. Today we have Snow, Poetry, and Cats, Old Man, versus Let These Two, yours truly, Benjamin. And I'll be the visiting team today and leading off with, of course, Jack. Okay, and this is the top club in the world here, the Snow, Poetry, and Cats, going off right now, currently in sixth place, which after this week, Let These Two will drop it like it's hot and probably be going a lot further down. That's how it goes. Anyways, tough game. If you want to have your team or your game broadcasted and put on the YouTube channel, get it done, record it, send it to me through a Google link, and I'll get it done for you. Post it up for everyone to see. You know, again, your way to promote your club and good way to, again, get some recognition for yourself. All right, one down here, bottom, uh, top of the ninth inning, and... Again, old man here is pitching off with Wade. Wade, I, I typically don't have a difficulty time seeing his pitches, mainly because you see him a lot more. You can kind of tell a little bit. But either way, these top pitchers and top players in the world are pretty good. And uh, that's a foot in my mouth moment. I swung way high out of the strike zone changeup. Either way, two outs here in the top of the ninth inning. Looking to get some uh, respect from our opponents. Gibby, long foul ball, typically does that. And again, after this game, we're going to introduce the new player and the new events, which is fantastic. But before that, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's try to win a baseball game. Swing. Now, this you're going to see, I think, uh, when you admit the cursor right over the pitch and it goes right through it. Frustrating sometimes. Good eye there. 2-2 two -two counts. All right. So as you see, I use manual batting. I like it. It makes the cursor look a little easier. And again foot in my mouth moments, swinging right through a curveball. Now up for Murdoch. Now today Murdoch's boost is over. So don't be like me and use Murdoch at level nine and play your club game because, spoiler alert, it's a loss. Now the good thing is this isn't a club game. This is a regular matchup, one player versus one player. And Annie gets a little opposite field shot to right field, and we're off in the bottom of the ninth with one runner on, and Michael up to bat, strong batter, inside for ball one. Uh, just making sure she stays honest. All right, so again, let these two is having a difficult time the last several weeks, uh, you know, not having everyone play, people missing games, and of course, just not overall playing very well. Myself this week, 60%, three out of five, not a good showing if you want to have and want to stay above water. Oh, crap. Here we go. Right off the bat, Ruth goes for a double down the right field line. Annie to third base in the bottom of the ninth. This could be a short one, folks. Kevin is up the bat. And just like that, we have an out. And, oh, he's tagging. A late tag, delay tag. Going back, retreat. And Jessica guns are down. Bad base running. Gets out of the inning. That's how you do it. All right, Kevin's at the bat, and a shot up the center right through the second base, right past the second baseman. Bases are loaded. Now, Ben's going to be putting some pressure on this old man. Put him back in the wheelchair, he says. Give him a cane. He can't walk. Let's make it happen. Durant's at the bat. Can't lay off that high. Could have been 50-50. And Jessica's gun down. Base is still loaded, though, at the top of the 10th inning. Michael has a chance to get a run across the board. And the change up high out of the strike zone. Great pitch by the old man. Using his old man strength. Pulling the yo-yo out there. So what the hell is he doing today? Ben is swinging so far out of the strike zone. I don't know. Might be high a little bit. I, don't, I have no idea. It's a conundrum. Got to fix that. Lays off that one. That's a tough pitch. Okay, 2-1. Base is still loaded here in the top of the 10th inning. Coo! Let's a curveball go right up in that top corner for strike two. 2-2. Two, two. Outside, good layoff. Bases are loaded. Guess what? The runners are going to be on the move. And the pitch is delivered. Curveball. Right on it. Right on it. And a pop fly to center field. That might come back to bite him. Roots on second base. Kevin on first. And got him with a nice changeup outside and low. All right, up high. 
Lays off that pitch. Bottom of the 10th inning. Ruth on second. Kevin on first, like I mentioned earlier. Murdoch's trying to get that ground ball or a strikeout here. That might be very helpful. Kevin fouls it out to right field. Murdoch, there it is. That spinning pitch. Lays off the curveball. Where to go next? Where to go? Where to go? You don't want to put it too high. Ruth will tag. Ground ball. Uh-oh. Sloke, that's a negative side there. Try to get two. And is he going to time it? Gibson. Two late. Runner scores. Game over. Tough break, old man. Snow, poetry, and cats wins that one. But let's go to the new player. And Memorial Day. Again, kind of an interesting thing with the European company making this. And, of course, this is very catered to America. Because the Army, number one, Memorial Day, this is not for any other country. So I wonder, how does that feel? What are the, what is, if you're like in a Taiwan league or Japanese league or Korean, please let me know if it still says Memorial Day for you. Because this is very America, as you can see. A little biased. So please, any other country outside of America, let me know how this has been sold to you, okay? Either way, Harper, let's check her bio. Harper was a wonderful kid in high school, but decided to serve her country. Hey! Like me, I was in the Army also after high school. She developed a powerful skill in pushing that astounds everyone. All right, powerful push hitting. Uh-oh. There's no such thing as really push hitting. We just call it opposite field. We don't call it push the ball. Just hit it oppo. When you hit the ball with a slight late timing and push it, pull it, push it, I guess it makes sense. But just hit the ball opposite field, right? Push it, whatever. The distance travels through the air increases. All right, so those late pitches. So this is going to combat the Roger Matthew kind of phenomenon. Roger throws a lot faster with Matthew. So you use her in the lineup. And again, throwing left, and she's an infielder. So there's your first baseman again. Another person that's going to be in first base. Man, they're overloading power hitters. But as they say, chicks dig the long ball. And she might be a chick that digs the long ball as well, or not. We don't know. Possibility. Haircut looks a little bit different, sus, but, you know, we're not here to judge. Just play baseball. Power, 206, pretty high. Uh, pretty high indeed. And in contact, 184, okay, it's a little above average. Speed, right there with kind of Gibson, all right? And then throwing and fielding, nothing special there. Pretty much a Gibson kind of concept. So, you know, we'll be able to use her. Again, you have the events, same kind of events as before. You know, make use of the events, get some free cards. Hopefully, I don't know, we start getting those old event cards in chess. I have not got them this whole freaking month. What up, mini clip? Anyways, there it is. New player, game of the day. Enjoy it. Another lefty's two broadcast. See you next time.